Hey guys, it's Sean. This is Devlog18. Another quick update for Deaded. Previously, I had a build function where if the player is aiming at a window, you could press the build key and a barricade would be built. It was simple, but I wanted something a little more dynamic. I decided to change to a non-grid type building style. So now you can select what type of building you want and have a blueprint display what it looks like and then you can place it down anywhere the player wants. Placements can also be rotated and now there's a little animation the player does once you start building the barricade. Now of course when there's room for player creativity inside a game, there's bound to be some exploits and buggy things to happen but we'll fix that as it comes. As for now it definitely feels a lot better and more dynamic than the previous building mechanic. I had a comment by Maugul asking how I generated homes. For the actual model of the house, I'm using the Cinti asset pack I bought from the Unity store, which have a bunch of models ready to use. For actually randomizing the house, I'm sure there's a better and cleaner way to generate them, but here's how I did it. So in short, I basically have a single object, and inside that object there's an array of houses that randoms and spawns the house selected. Then each house has its own array of loot, which spawn and is randomly selected to either be looted or unlooted. After generating the loot, it then chooses what type of fence the house has and any other environmental clutter around the house for example cars or rubbish once everything is spawned then the nav mesh of the house is generated along with the rest of the suburb and that should be it for the single house with all that set all i had to do was make a prefab and spawn it at specific points and generating houses can now be quick and easy and if i wanted to add more houses i can simply add extra houses to the array of course in the future i'll have different layouts to spawn different house locations and also different house types as well and of course, shops and other facilities can be randomized using this method as well. Added breakable fences. Now the player can kick the fence and have flying debris come out. Since I used the Cinti asset pack, there was no single objects with the broken pieces. So I exported the models to Blender and cut out the piece of the model that I wanted and then have it spawn as the fence broke. Zombies can also break fences. Now there was a problem with zombies breaking the fence just by walking into them. So I added a condition to check if the zombie was actually chasing the player first before he can break the fence. As for the Steam page I've been trying to set up, I've been doing a lot of reading and it's a lot more complicated than I thought. I gotta create screenshots, uh, read through legal advice, create a cool trailer, become a Steam partner, and start working with the Steamworks SDK, which is all new territory for me. So my page won't be up anytime soon. Anyways, this was a general quick update. Progress has been a little slow because I've been sinking quite a few hours into Astronauts, which is a little space simulator game. It's a little gem worth checking out if you like those kinds of stuff. Anyways, that's all for this week. I upload weekly, so don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.